Today we have this Royal Arrow Vintage Portable Typewriter made in Japan. I'm not sure what year this was made, but it's really clean except for it's got some chip paint and rust on the bottom portion of the typewriter. It comes with this lid that fits on like this and just snaps right in. Very compact, very sturdy. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are right here behind the platen. And you just move them like that. This is your paper tray that flips up. Once you hit the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one or two spaces. Right now we have it on one, but if you want two, just flip that switch forward one time and you skip two. And keep it on one for now and go back to the next line. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence in red on the next line. Switch from black to red. You just flip the switch on the right side up two slots. And there's a red arrow there and it tells you you're on red and you'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. Very nice machine. Very sturdy and strong. Very compact but made with really nice material, strong metal, it's heavy, probably weighs about 10 pounds. But if you buy a typewriter uh, brand new these days, they're made out of all plastic and they break easy and very cheaply made. This one's nice made. The top comes right off. Um, and you get your spools right in there. And to change the direction, you just put, there's a fork that holds the ribbon and you just push it to the left and it'll start pulling it's pulling to the right but all the brand new ribbons on the left so it, yeah so it needs to pull to the right if you want to change that direction you just move that it'll start pulling to the left and if you get to the end of uh, one of the spools you might jam up your vibrator this is your vibrator that vibrates up and down and if you get to the end it'll just jam it up and then all you gotta do is just change the direction make sure it's going in the correct direction Put this back on, it just sits right on top of it, it doesn't lock in or anything. Backspace works good. Shift on each side and shift lock on the left to clear that. You just hit the shift bu button again. Touch control low to high, L to H. If you can see that. Um, so if you if you push it up, it loads a spring underneath the keys that will uh, just increase the tension when you hit the keys. I like it on low and if you get to the end of the margin, there's a mechanism that stops you from typing and kind of locks the keys up. And if you hit the margin release, um, it'll allow you to type past that margin. We're going to put the color back to black for default. Carriage release on the left side, on the right side here only, only one on this model. And this is your paper release. Um, flip that back and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the paper out easy. And also allows you to load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back in the correct position before you load the next page, or else it won't load correctly. And switch this back down. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.